Well, <laughs> hello to each and everyone. It's Dr. MJ. Nagbabalik po tayo. It's been a long time since the last time na nagpost ako ng video. At ngayon lang ulit ako nakapag-isip ng topic na kailangan na dapat i-discuss. Well, actually, madami namang topic na dapat i-discuss. Pero nagkukulang lang tayo sa oras para gawin iyon. Pero unahin ko pong i-discuss ngayong araw na to ang tungkol sa Yakult. Yes, tama pong narinig nyo, Yakult, because madami akong nakikita. Sometimes kasi nagbabrowse ako ng quick browse lang sa mga animal group. Nakikita ko, nagpo-post sila ng Yakult, nire-recommend nila yung Yakult kapag nagtada yung aso. And then, may mga nagbe-message din po sa akin as they are asking if, Dok, okay lang po ba ibigay ang Yakult? Lahat po ng mga tanong ninyo about sa Yakult ay pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw na to. Pero bago yun, gusto ko munang kamustahin po kayong lahat. Kamusta po ba kayo ngayong pandemic pa din? GCQ ba? I believe GCQ po sa atin ngayon. Pero sana po okay po tayong lahat. At sana okay din po ang ating mga alagang mga aso at pusa. Okay? <laughs> Pero para po sa mga hindi nakakilala sa akin, I'm a veterinarian. And training po ako ngayon and doing some shadowing as a vet here in United States. Kaya... Minsan kapag hindi ako nakakapag-reply kasi sabi ko I'm offering free consultation, minsan may mga time na hindi ako nakareply agad dahil rin po yung mga may mga iba pa po tayong mga ginagawang bagay pero sinusikap ko naman pong mag-reply as soon as I can. All right, so before we start about the Yakult, ipapakita ko muna itong video ito para magkaroon tayo ng idea kung saan ba nang galing ang Yakult. Siyempre, bago natin i-discuss itong topic na to, kailangan may alam po tayo. Alam po natin yung mga pinagsasabi natin, no? <laughs> so, yan. Keep watching. Tingnan natin. At Yakult, we have a special story to tell that we'd like to share with you. It begins in the early 20th century, 1921 to be precise. That was the year that an ambitious young man began to study medicine at Kyoto University. His name was Minoru Shirota. Inspired by the research of Nobel Prize winner Eli Mechnikov, Minoru studied hard. After he graduated, he became a researcher at the university. In his new role as a scientist, Dr. Shirota, as Minoru was now known, researched the role of bacteria in the body. After years of research, he finally succeeded in cultivating a unique strain of bacteria that was strong enough to reach the intestines alive. His professor agreed to name this strain Lactobacillus casei shirota, after Dr. Shirota himself. In order to get this unique bacteria into our gut, Dr. Shirota created a fermented milk drink that contained his strain of bacteria, Lactobacillus casei shirota, in 1935. He named his drink Yakult, a word derived from the Esperanto Yakulto, which means yogurt. It was his vision to deliver Yakult to people far and wide. He worked hard to make his wish come true. The drink became so popular that in 1955, the Yakult Honsha Company was founded in Tokyo. company also developed a world-renowned laboratory, which evolved into the Yakult Central Institute for Microbiological Research. It was there that Dr. Shirota could continue his pioneering scientific work. Yakult's popularity spread across the world. 
1994, the first European factory was founded in Almira in the Netherlands. Let's go inside to see how Yakult is produced. To make the perfect Yakult, a few elements are crucial. The unique Lactobacillus casei Shirota, high quality ingredients, stringent hygiene procedures and very strict quality controls. The production process starts with dissolving the basic ingredients, skimmed milk powder and water. This solution is then sterilized using an ultra heat sterilizer. This means that the mixture is heated to a very high temperature to kill any unwanted bacteria. When the solution has cooled, the Lactobacillus casei Shirota is added to the sterilized solution and left to grow for the required fermentation period. In order to get the right number of Lactobacillus casei Shirota in the solution, we have to keep the temperature constant during the fermentation period. The resulting solution still needs to be pumped through a series of pipes to make it smooth. And finally, we add flavors and sugars to give Yakult its pleasant taste. Once it's ready, the solution is cooled. This makes the bacteria dormant so that the mixture can be stored. At this stage, the mixture is still rather thick. To turn it into the Yakult that you actually drink, crystal clear water has to be added. Once that's done, the finished drink is poured into Yakult's iconic little bottles. It takes less than one tenth of a second to fill and close a bottle, after which they're packed in no time at all. Did you know 45,000 bottles can be filled and packed in just one hour? When they're ready, our bottles are distributed to stores and supermarkets across the UK and Ireland, so people can enjoy Yakult every day. At Yakult, we continuously strive to realize Dr. Shirota's vision. So yeah, additional information na naman po, no? So I didn't actually know that Yakult is made in Japan. Well, based po sa history na napanood natin, ang Yakult ay made in Japan at na-discover siya ni Mandoro Shiroto sa, ito po yun sa Kyoto University, which is sa Japan. Mm -hmm. And for the processing, kasamarize ko lang po, una nilalagyan nila ng skim milk and water, tapos i-heat nila in very high temperature para mamatay yung mga unwanted bacteria doon sa skim milk at sa water. And then after that, i-add na nila yung lactobacilli or yung tinatawag na bacteria. And then last is add some sugar and flavoring. So yan po, ganun po yung process na ginagawa nila to make ya cold. Please take note of this po ha. Itong ulo ng pagkain na to or drink is tinatawag na probiotics kasi um, meron ding probiotic na foods which is yung yogurt pero ito is ginawa na drinks as drink siya. Um, ito pong parehong ito, yogurt and yakult ay mga probiotics. When, when we say probiotics po, ang main component nito ay mga live bacteria at sometimes may yeast din siya. But, pero wait po, itong bacteria ito ay ang tinatawag na good bacteria. Hindi po siya yung pathogenic kasi dalawa po ang klase ng bacteria. Meron yung tinatawag ng pathogenic at non-pathogenic. When we say pathogenic, ito po yung mga nagkakos ng mga sakit sa atin o kaya sa ating mga alaga. So, pero ito pong non-pathogenic, hindi sila nagkakos ng sakit. Kung hindi, sila po ay kailangan para mapaganda yung digestion ng ating bituka. So, tama po yung narinig nyo sa ating gastrointestinal tract ay may mga bakterya po doon at kailangan po yung mga bakterya ngayon para umayos po ang digestion natin in the times na magkaroon ng constipation o kaya naman uh, diarrhea. Sa main question nyo po na kung okay ba ibigay ang Yakult sa aso, for me, at based sa napanood natin, yes. Pwede po siyang ibigay pero may tamang dose para doon. Usually as mga vets, Nire-recommend po namin sa aming mga patients or client na bigyan ng kanilang dog ng probiotics such as Yakult para umayos yung digestive health ng aso, uh, so especially if there is a problem. 
Personally, nire-recommend ko po na bigyan ng dog ng Yakult two to three times a week lang. Every other day. Hindi po every day. Ano? And then, ang um, sa dose po, nagkakaiba po yun. Depende sa sa laki or weight ng ating alaga. For the puppies, ang nire-recommend ko lang po sa mga puppies. Nire-recommend ko po ang Yakult for three months old puppies. Not earlier than three months. Kasi kapag mas bata sa three months, nagsak pa sila ng milk sa, sa nanay nila, sa mom dog. So, um, may mga te may tendency na magkaroon ng problem sa digestive system. Yung magkaroon ng hypermotility. Kaya after three months, doon ang Para sa akin, best way na ibigay ang Yakult. And then, nag-vary siya sa weight. For the small breed dog, nire-recommend ko po is one-fourth lang ng regular bottle. And then, for the medium, is half ng bottle. For the large breed dog, is mga three-fourth. And for the extra-large dog, kagaya ng mga German Shepherd or St. Bernard, is one bottle every other day. And then, please take note po na kailangan nasa refrigerator sila or nasa temperature around 2 degrees Celsius to 18 degrees Celsius. So, kailangan kasi makip na buhay yung mga live bacto lactobacillus yung, or bacteria. Ang tawag po sa mga bacteria, ang specific bacteria po na nasa Yakult ay yung lactobacillus. Kasi kapag outside the temperature, like kung masyadong mainit, pwede po silang mamatay. Therefore, wala din. Therefore, wala din po siyang effect sa intestine kapag namatay po yung mga bacteria. Kaya nga sabi, di ba, live bacteria ang mga nasa Yakult. Pero wait po, just to make it clear, ang Yakult po, binibigay lang po natin to enhance the digestion ng intestine. Hindi po siya gamot. Hindi po siya gamot. Kung ang dog nyo ay may parvovirus, O kaya naman parasitism, maraming mga bulate, hindi po siya gamot. Okay? So, kailangan pa din po ng gamot para sa specific condition ng ating aso. Kung hypermotility lang, ibig sabihin, parang hindi lang umay maayos yung digestion, pwede ibigay yung cold. But since the problem is virus or parasitism, kailangan po mas specific na treatment para doon. And hindi po dewormer ang Yakult. Kasi meron ako nakita na nag... Meron ako nakita na sabi, makakapag deworm daw siya. Siguro, nung binigay niya yung Yakult, heavily infested lang talaga yung dog niya. Tapos lumabas yung worm. Akala niya dewormer na. Pero, hindi po dewormer. Okay? So, that's all for today po. Ito po yung mga information sa mga katanungan nyo tungkol sa Yakult. And I really hope na nakatulong po ito sa inyo. At kung yes, please like and pakishare din sa animal group para magkaroon din sila ng idea. Spread the information po. No? And then, I will really appreciate if you will subscribe and click the bell button para maging updated po sa aking mga ibang videos. Thank you so much and please, before I say goodbye, please paki pet naman ang inyong mga dog for me. Thank you so much. Bye po!